Hi guys, I'm back with another holler haul and um, if you've ever, never ordered or if you, you can use a different email if you want, um, go to holler.com and in the description box of this video or any of my holler videos you'll see a referral link. You click that link, go on over, get yourself $2 off. Um, an order of ten dollars or more and free shipping and also right now they have a couple codes going on promo codes and I tried them tonight on two different orders it's this watermelon that you can bite and I couldn't get it to work so I automatically thought okay they're gonna be doing summer and it said two or three dollars off so smart as I am with holler, I thought, okay, I'll just try summer and then the number three and boom, it took $3 off, but it had to be an order of $13 or more. And then, um, I placed another order and I used, uh, so I tried summer number two and it took $2 off that order. So you can only use the promo code once per account but it allowed me to use two different ones and club on two different orders if you understand what I'm saying and um, club orange is still working so I ended up paying ten dollars for a thirteen dollar order and I think ten dollars for a twelve dollar order so and I got a product I'm excited about because I looked on Amazon it's really high priced and I think it was like the last one in stock so you'll see when those come in I have two already on the way and then two more I ordered tonight so plus this one that came in so let's get to this order anyways this is order number 308 for me or not order number actually I've had more than that in orders but since I started printing my own invoices and I need to figure out where I put my new pack of printer paper <laughs> bought a new printer got that all set up been using it and now I can't figure out what I did with the new printer paper so it's like you buy the ink and then you can't figure out where you put the paper so plus I still got some other hauls to go through anyways without further ado Let's jump in to this haul. It's a small box, but it's packed full of goodies. So, I, it's good that the Club Orange is still working because they said they were going to be doing away with it, supposedly. And here it is, past May 31st. We're into June, and they still have it. Now this didn't make sense to me. One was listed under fridge freshener baking soda tray for $1. And the other one was listed under Deodor EX fridge freshener baking soda tray for 50 cents. They only had one of each and then I added the cart, I go to cash out and then say that they didn't have them. So they did finally let me go through and so this is the Deodor X, and I seen someone else haul this, um, No Got Snow Glory. She talked about getting the baking soda for these trays, and then I saw that, and I went on to look and see what it was. So it saves you money, because I buy baking soda in like big four pound box, and then I put it in a container. So it saves you money on not having to buy, you know, the one pound box and put it in there where you can just put a little bit in the tray, slide it out, dump it, change it, and, it, and what it is is it, um, it says install the base, fill the tray, insert the tray into base. So basically suction cups, and I do have the glass shelving like that in my fridge, so I mean for my freezer, my chest freezers, I'm probably still going to have to buy the boxes, but I'd buy the boxes that have the like the cotton filter on the side, you know what I mean, that you tear. Not the ones that you just open top that can spill, because you don't want those that spill. So I buy the ones, you know what I mean, that has the breathable cotton on there. Inside, I wish charcoal bags, because I use those in 
put them in the sun and you can reuse them, the lava rock charcoal bags. I used those in the house in different places, closets and things. I wish those, I don't think they would withstand in the cold. So anyways, I don't, I'm going to see if the difference. That one was a dollar. But it's funny, they're exactly the same, the Deodorex. <laughs> they were just under two different listings. So one I paid 50 cents, one I paid a dollar. But, um... I figured because there's different layers in your fridge and especially in the summertime when you're making strong things with onions like macaroni salad and everything, you might want more than one or if one breaks you got a backup or I might gift one to my mom. So at that price I, didn't, I grabbed the last two that I could find and this was another one left in stock. It's a My Little Pony um, pop-out paint kit. It's one watercolor watercoloring board, two millimeter water-based brush paints, and one paintbrush. I basically got it before I found the other acrylic paints at Walmart for the paints to and the brush to paint um, rocks. With my son, we're doing the painting rocks, and I figured I could just do this in markers or whatever if I wanted to. And there's actually a Facebook page and link for it. But this was the last one left, and it was only one dollar. So I said, you know, I can try the paints out. What's the risk? You know, they're only going on this, and then um, I'll do the picture, or Jay can do the picture, or whatever, in markers or something else. So it was basically a dollar little paint kit. Basically that's what I was buying it for because I was searching under paints. And I know watercolor paints wouldn't work. I needed acrylic. Um, I have hauled this before. They had one left in stock. This was like the one left in stock order, I swear. Because I searched for it. And sometimes I think people's orders get canceled or something like that or they have it in a cart and then it doesn't go through or they don't place the order or something it ends up being back in stock like one left and I know they have a new thing they used to put things when they put back in stock holler would list them as new item and I'm thinking to myself that's not a new item now they have a square in the top corner that says back in stock so that's kind of neat like shows you when something's but it's called a Cobb, C Pen Cobb, C-O-B, um, light. And my son got one, and we dropped one on the kitchen floor, unfortunately. And it split right down in all the electronic wires. I could not line it back up, so I ordered him another one. Um, I think th we've gotten three of these so far, but one I keep, like, magnet on the fridge. And then he keeps one on in his room on his nightstand so that he can, you know, it just slides out, puts pen, um, some AAA batteries, and then you just hit the button and it's, I'm not, there's no batteries in this, but it, this strip is really neon, so, and they're only one dollar when they're in stock, so they're also great, I thought, you know, for kids when they're camping, I wish I could hook a lanyard to it. You know, to take camping that the kids could carry around, but we have a lot of other lanterns, but they'd be great in the tent just to go to the bathroom or, you know, the kids, we have power outages a lot here in Vermont, so if he needed it just to go to the bathroom at night, something like that. This they're limiting, uh, they were limiting one per order. And I love this glass cleaner, foaming glass cleaner. I have found, I've bought Windex, I've bought every kind. Seems like the foaming really works good, especially on mirrors and like your TV screens and things like that because one, it's not gonna run fast and, and worry about getting the crack of your TV screen. And two, um, It, I don't know, it just seems like it cleans better and it has ammonia in it and it has streak free shine and everything. And for one dollar for this big 14 ounce can, I'll take it. So, like, 
sometimes when they have limit one like that, I'll try and add them on an order. So they brought these back again. I buy these normally at Dollar General. The Gain brand for $1.50 for this size. But these are even heavier quality than the Gain brand. And they're delicate, fine mesh laundry bags. I put like, um, when I wash delicate baby clothes out to separate. Um, my bras so they don't hook on things. Even if there's something that you're going to put through the dryer and it, you don't want to like tangle in something in the washer, I will put them in these or some, or, or it alerts me when I have large ones, all kinds of them. I have a big bin in the laundry room that's full of these, but when I am taking things out of the wash, it alerts me, okay, that's something I might have to hang up. So I check the and zip the bag. Because I have, you know, big shirts that I'll, uh, big ones that I'll put, like, entire shirts in and wash them on gentle. And then I know which ones that I, I hang to the air dry and then just fluff. So I grabbed two of those, and they're only a dollar a piece. Um, it says I ordered the pink and purple circles. But for some reason, I got these pretty pink flowers. I just realized that. And I didn't see these. Anyway, they're supposed to be like the pink and purple circles, but I got these pink flowers. And they are, and they're the good zipper that tucks in. And you want to get this fine mesh, not the big open mesh. Uh, 30 by 60, so 12 by 16 inches. And I've gone to TJ Maxx and stuff before, and you go to buy one or two of these bags, and they're like $8.99. It's crazy. Even for the small ones. I bought big sets on Amazon, gotten lucky. I found a couple companies I like for the larger, I mean, like, will hold big shirts or whatever. Um, let's see. Then they, I hauled before the, um, they came out with, the basic had them, and then Hauler came out with the scented gel pens, glitter. And I hauled the 8-pack, and this is the 12-pack, but the only thing on the 12-pack I see, there's like two silvers, like they they have a black and two silvers, so I don't see much of a difference between the 8-pack except for a, like a lighter purple. So, these were, let me see, I believe the 12-packs, yeah, the 12-packs are $2, the 8-packs are a dollar. So if you don't really care about having this lighter purple and the those, I mean, that's basically your 8-pack. Or there's extra red, I mean, so your primary colors, I would go with 8-pack. But they don't smell as much. And they have it, um, they skip a little bit. I like the basic ones a lot better. I'm glad I stocked up and got like 20-something of the basic ones. I have a complete tote full of nothing but the ones that I haven't even used yet. So I am stocked on gel pens. But those are $2 for the 12-pack. If you're not using them to fill in, you know, large adult coloring, you know, larger spaces, if you want a very point, finer point, I'll show you the point on these. There's a lot because the, um, and I like how they open way open like that so you can get in there and they have a nice case, but... So they have a very fine tip. And let's see. See that one is going smooth. It goes smooth on my let's see, let's cover in color in my heart tattoo, I guess, right? So say you're doing adult coloring. <laughs> Who could do this, right? I know I gotta get this one covered. There we go. <laughs> so I guess but there's no really smell. It's very light. And I think if there's any smell, they all lightly smell the same. Whereas the basic ones, you can smell it and then smell the paper. And you can smell it while you're coloring. So, But the basic ones really, um, they go fast. Like a lot of ink comes out when you're coloring. So it's great for larger spaces. But if you wanted finer, and it's a really... That's a really pretty hot pink. 
I wish my tattoo was that color. <laughs> With the glitter, that'd be nice. So, um, two new items. I was glad I grabbed them when I saw them early in the morning. They first were released before they got wiped out. I had to wait to do this haul because Jake went on a field trip and he couldn't find his wallet, so he had to borrow this. <laughs> the They had this new... Let me open the baggie. And he brought it back unblemished, like a good boy. He had his little money in here. It's a zipper change purse. It's really nice. It's kind of lined like a little fuzzy material. You know, it's a good space. That's why I got, I like the rainbow. I thought that was cute. And it has a pull keychain. You could just zip it. And he took this, so I thought it wasn't too girlish. Because the other option, definitely he could not take on the field trip. And I thought he was going to a museum. He actually went to the Calvin Coolidge, Calvin Coolidge, there we go, Homestead. So it was where Calvin, Calvin Coolidge, I can't even say that three times fast. Um, their homestead where he lived and everything and the history. But I gave him some money and stuff for the gift shop and this boy is a sweetheart. He says, one of my friends didn't have money. And so I didn't say anything and I saw something he wanted. And when we got back to school, I bought it for him and I gave it to him. And I was like, oh my goodness. He goes, yeah, and the lady was nice that worked in the shop because I was short like eight cents tax. <laughs> and I was like, well, did you get something? He's like, yeah, I got this. They had this kite and I knew it was going to be cheap, so I didn't get it. And I'm like, okay, so you're a good value shopper. So what'd you get? He's like, well, you know how you don't like me having metal slinkies because they break, but this one's black and it looks heavier. They ch they charged $9.95 or $0.85, something like that, for a slinky. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like a $4. That's one like these gift shops, like really, you know, I was hoping they would have like grape licorice, string licorice, or, I mean, they should have penny candy or something for kids that come with school trips. That's just kind of... I mean, you can go to the dollar store and get things. I mean, I know they're chinkier things, but... So I told him, I said, don't worry, because if you don't spend it there or find something, I can take you to the store. But So anyways, um, he was a sweetheart and got his friend. And he said, my friend said thank you. And I said, yeah. He says, because if it was me, I'd want someone to do it for me. And I said, so you're good. So that's like a kudos. I know I'm raising my kids good. So, the next item, not to interrupt about the field trip, uh, was this one that he definitely wouldn't be taking. Is a, it's, they're listed as holler coin purse. And they had kit, cats and some other ones. And after I got them and noticed how cute they were and the quality, I wish I had gotten more. So, let's go over my total. Um, for everything, I only paid $10.50, free shipping with Club Orange. So my total was ten fifty. I didn't have any promos or anything. Ah, I'm trying to get that open. So it's they're like leather, you know, pleather, whatever you wanna. And this one's kind of shimmery, and it's, they're sewn, bound all around, and it's pink on the back. And I just love this unicorn. I thought it was so cute. I mean, they had a unicorn head, I think, and the opening, I was, I was afraid this opening wasn't going to be that big, but I didn't know that they were going to be this large. I mean, they're really good size. Oh, it's got a foam inside. Oh, yeah, see, it does go down to the, you can see his body poof out with my finger in there. It does go down to the body, but it'd be kind of, that's what I was thinking. It'd be kind of hard to get. I mean, you could put like, you know, a few ones in there. Or, you know, maybe two like lipsticks or something that you want to just keep it as a little. Um, or a little perfume sample or something that you want to just hook on to your purse or put in your purse. A couple lipsticks would be cute. You know, lipstick tubes. But that's why I got the rainbow one because I was thinking for a coin purse. 
or just you know if you're going somewhere in like a theme park or whatever and you just want to put a little bit of cash and you don't want to lose a lot like he went on a field trip so it was easy and if you know if you have little girls it'd be easy to hook them on to their pack you know backpack and their you know they can be shook around where they're not going to unzip so it's good for like you know if they want to put it on their backpack and then stick it in their backpack so it's secured but for a dollar how can you resist they're so cute or for their lunch money things like that so if I had a little girl she'd have so much pink and fluff and well I did but she went to heaven sadly but um, God blessed me again with because um, I have two older sons not to talk about personal things but I guess that's how you get to know people on their channel I have um, two older sons Stephen and Kenneth but we call them Kenny they're um, my well my first two boys so they're almost identical uh, three years apart like they're three years and they're five days shy of being exactly three years apart because I, I, the second one was a plan c-section and I didn't want to have them have the same exact birthday so I chose a different date the doctor asked you a couple different dates because when they got school age I didn't want them to have to share a birthday to be able to have different birthdays with their classes and stuff like you know it's just I figured it was if you can I mean twins can't choose but if I could choose you know I had the choice I said no I don't want them to have exactly the same birthday exactly three years apart so it was um one is April 9th and the second one they said you want April 9th again I said no I said I'll take the the second choice was April 5th so um four days after my second son was born my first son turned three so I was busy <laughs> raising the first two and then um so they're uh, my oldest son actually has two my two grandchildren my middle son doesn't have any children and then um I had uh, lost two, a daughter and a son. So it was like every three years. And then there was a little bit of span. I missed like the one three year mark. And then I had Jake in 2008. So, and he was a surprise. And so God blessed me with him. And so he keeps me young or makes me old fast. One or the other. Some days I think it's one or the other, but... Most days he keeps me young, so I would be bored if I didn't have him. And he brings a lot of joy and um, entertainment and seeing things through his eyes. That's the joy of having children. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Sorry it was a little story behind it. But um, as usual, like, comment, subscribe. I know this was a small haul. And I have a bunch more orders coming. And as usual, happy hauling.